The Smithsonian has been involved in measuring variation of, of light from the sun basically since its founding. So we're just the latest part, latest phase of that, measuring uh, ultraviolet radiation. So we design, maintain, and calibrate instruments to do those measurements. And then we conduct uh, both laboratory and field studies to look at how aquatic organisms respond to uh, ultraviolet radiation. Much of the field work that we've done has been in the ocean surrounding Antarctica, what's called the, the Southern Ocean. That part of the ocean is particularly important because it has episodically some of the highest amounts of phytoplankton that you see anywhere in the world. Any change in the productivity of phytoplankton will have some consequences. Global climate does very much affect the mixing and thus the light exposure that phytoplankton receive. When you have a higher water temperature, the surface water warms, that creates a density difference between the surface and the deeper ocean. So generally we see that the lower the light that the phytoplankton grow in, the more sensitive they are to UV, and Antarctic phytoplankton grow in some of the lowest light environments on Earth. So to determine how phytoplankton respond to UV radiation in the environment, we use a special setup that we call the photoinhibitron. Our contribution is improving the understanding and the models that can be used to predict how phytoplankton can respond to different environmental factors so that we know if we project a certain scenario of temperature and climate change in the future, how does that translate to how much uh, phytoplankton productivity that we would expect.